Howdy folks, it's Kyle Bailey, the Content Ninja. I know I don't probably look like a ninja, there's probably not many Irish ninjas, but I promise I am one. Uh, I'm, I'm using this uh, Crowdfire app, and I wanted, I, I'm just loving it so much, I just wanted to share it with you. This is uh, probably one of the most powerful tools that I've ever, free tools I've ever used. I'm just really, really impressed with it. Uh, I'm going to run you through a couple of functions here. And then uh, I'll go through some live stuff. So first, just looking on the left side, um, you can see the uh, this this list that's pretty strong. So you have non-followers. Uh, this is followers and unfollowers since the last time I was logged in, which was only four hours ago. Recent unfollowers, recent followers, inactive following, all following, copy followers, keyword follow. Whitelist, blacklist, friend check, automate. I'm not going to run through the whole thing. I'm just going to run through a few things that I'm I'm really enjoying right this second. So inactive following is a big deal. Now I've already cleaned up a lot of these of the really old ones. This is actually a client that I'm managing, Texas AC Specialist, free plug. I'm using this tool to manage their Twitter account. And uh, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to go and go to the oldest because what I want here is to clean out anybody who uh, is not really doing anything on Twitter. I don't want them plugging up my feed. As you know, um, I mean plugging up my follower list. I want a list of curated, demographically accurate, relevant people that I'm either following or hopefully are following me back. The more that I can purify this list, if you will, uh, the better results I'm going to get in my uh, my messaging because I'm going to be putting, putting messaging out to people who can potentially buy from me. I'm not going to go into my entire strategy because that's kind of a secret, but uh, one of the things I'm doing is finding relevant people here in town to follow. We'll tell you one piece of my strategy is I want to follow every real estate agent in town. Why? Because real estate agents obviously talk to people that I'm trying to deal with, which is homeowners. Texas AC specialists, they repair air conditioners. I wanna to talk to people who talk to homeowners. So I'm talking to real estate agents. So the first thing I do when I'm starting to manage a Twitter account for a client is I'm gonna go through and I'm going to address the nature of their Twitter followers. And one of the things I frequently find is it's full of like, you know, people from LA and, all, this 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 client doesn't need anybody outside of Austin on his Twitter account unless he has personal connections with them. And I've already clarified that he didn't. So um, this is his professional account. So everybody needs to live in Austin and preferably they all need to be talking to homeowners. So I'm going to start talking to real estate agents and I can quickly go through and both unfollow people who are not relevant to my demo. And number two, I can unfollow people who are not very active. So I already did a lot of this, but I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to see if I can find anybody over a year. Right now, everything you're seeing is all six or seven months. So no, that, that's it. I've already, but there were people who haven't tweeted for five years, three years, a year. Any of those people I got rid of, even if they were demographically relevant to what I wanted to do, because that's not going to help. We're not going to make any headway with those people. So <clears throat> we'll go through a few of these that are, that are older. Uh, repair contractors of USA. This is national, less relevant. Dallas Checkers, Dallas Fort Worth. They haven't tweeted in six months. I'm going to take them out. Red Recruiter, New Braunfels, maybe. He's enough to keep. I give him some time. Uh, sometimes people will go through a six month period where they don't. This is my broadcast uh, kind of shotgun approach. I'm going to go through and unfollow all these people. If there's any reason at all to keep them, I'm going to keep them. Then I'm going to go back in and check them. I'll give you an example. So New Braunfels, Texas, the Red Recruiter, uh, Brander, speaker, photographer, guitarist, rock out, all this stuff. This guy might, I mean, he's got 23,000 followers, but they're equal. So the likelihood is here that he uh, did the, the common tactic, which is to follow people, hoping to get them to follow back. So you unfollow a group of people that are not following you. Then you go back out and follow that many more people. So if I have 2,000 people, I unfollow 400. So then I can go after 400 more. And though that tactic will almost always yield this, which, which you, when you know someone's an influencer is when they have a bunch of followers, but they're not following, but maybe three or 400. 
So I'm not knocking the guy because obviously he's done a lot of hard work to have 23,000 followers. Uh, I'm just stating a truth that's out there. Okay. So what I would do is after I went and cleaned this out, then I would go back to this guy because remember he's, he's not tweeting seven months. So that tells me probably I want to get rid of him. He's also new Braunfels. I might want to get rid of him. Um, the likelihood is that he's more national because he's a speaker, right? Brander and speaker. But then he's got all these hobbies and stuff. So he might be known around town. He might be a, enough of a connected guy to uh, to keep him in my Twitter followers. So now let's go check out his channel. So this is one of the things I really, really love about this is um, I can just go directly out there and check it out. Yeah, so pretty quickly, we're getting to early 2014. So most likely... Uh, this is not a guy I'm going to keep. So what I would want to see is a bunch of stuff about Austin, a bunch of stuff about bands in Austin, bars and restaurants in Austin where he's playing because he said he was a, a guitarist and a photographer. Um, this is not looking like uh, anything I want to keep. This is not somebody who talks to homeowners a lot. So I'm going to kill this. So I'll stay down to 97 tabs. 97 tabs is my limit. I'm a tabaholic, but I keep it under control. All right, so I'm going to uh, re re remove that guy. So that shows you how this part of it works. The beautiful part about it is you can you can very quickly. When I first started working on this account, there were probably three or four hundred um, people that were six months and over as far as how long it had been since they had tweeted. So man, you talk about saving me so much time, and I'm making really informed decisions. That's one of the things I love about this. Now. You go to recent unfollowers. I can go look at this. You got to not take this kind of stuff too personally. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's obvious, but I think, especially today, I think things that should be obvious maybe always aren't. So this guy unfollowed uh, us. I don't know why. Um, he's following a whole bunch. He's uh, got a few followers. That doesn't bother me that bad. He is in my demo. He's a restoration guy. This might be something I might go personally and go say, hey, man, I noticed, or woman, I don't really know the gender. Uh, I noticed you unfollowed us. Why? Can we work together? We talk to the same people. I don't have anybody for restoration. That's something I would clarify with my client first before I went to him, but I that might be a, a, a tactic. So this person in California doesn't bother me. He's in the universe. Doesn't bother me. Ontario, Jackson, Mississippi, New York, Austin. Here's another one. This is a DJ, maybe, maybe, probably more likely he doesn't talk to the typical homeowner, uh, but he does have a decent following follower ratio. This is Austin. High, oh, <laughs> high class female, of course. That's probably not where I want to be. Um, so this person, uh, this real estate agent, Okay, so this is video software for real estate agents. Okay, but you see again how quickly I'm able to make really informed, granular level decisions on who my followers and unfollowers are and what decisions I need to make. It saves a ton of time. So all following copy followers. This one's really cool because you can go in. Um, let's say, let's see if they'll populate it because I haven't actually used this one very much. Um, let's just go to the Twitter account and find one. We'll go to a real estate agent. I think this guy's a real estate agent. Yeah. So we're going to go at, at home Austin. Sounds a little redundant, but it's not. At, at home Austin. Now what this is going to do is pull a bunch of people who, who relatively are like this guy. Okay, so these are mo most likely going to be real estate agents. Um, okay, so this one's going after the followers. Um, but so I can go look at his followers and, and kind of pull from the same pool there if I want to. And that, again, what you're looking for is demographically relevant uh, followers and people to follow. Whitelist and back blacklist is really cool. Um, when you put somebody on a whitelist in here, you're not going to be able to unfollow them. 
Um, that's a really good thing because you don't want to accidentally click something that you didn't see. Because as you can see before, if we go back to, let's go to non-followers, that'll give us a nice big list. Um, these nice big red buttons are, nice, are very easy to click. So if you, I can go in here, see I can whitelist with one click. Um, let's find one to whitelist so we can just do it. Okay, here's one that I want to stay in. So I'm gonna whitelist this. Now I can't un unfollow this guy. He's taken out of my ability to even unfollow him, see? Again, now you get the blacklist, it's the same thing in reverse. Oh, so hopefully this gives you a, uh, this is all in the free version. You can see here it's prompting me to upgrade because I have not upgraded. This is all in the free version. Really, really great tool for Twitter. Hope this helps. Uh, this is actually longer. I plan it to be, but I hope it helps.